Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and here is another questions and answers with new questions that have to do with Windows 11 22H2. So I did some uh, questions and answers yesterday, and of course that did bring a, lot, uh, a few more questions from users that are actually um, either thinking of upgrading to Windows 11 or have unsupported hardware. And so the um, the um, questions, of course, come from, first of all, I'm on Windows 10, and I've not gone to Windows 11. I thought I would wait for it to uh, arrive uh, in a, a second version, which is actually what's happening now. 22H2 is coming up. Uh, it's coming up in about a week, apparently, on the 20th, so it would be next Tuesday. Uh, you know, in a question like this, uh, should I now go to Windows 11 from Windows 10? My machine is compatible, I can go, and is it now ready and worth the update? In a sense, um, it's really personal if you want to go or not, I think, more than anything else. Why? No, there isn't that much of difference in new features and in Windows 11 22H2 than, than the first version. So in terms of, you know, is, did they fix things that people wanted to have? The majority of what people wanted is not changed. Uh, some will never be changed. There are things in the feedback of like, um, you know, bring back, um, you know, a, a normal start menu like Windows 10. That that will never happen. When Microsoft has decided that this is a new direction and they're going to stay there. There are things that in the feedback hub, it's obvious they'll never happen. But there are definitely a few things in the feedback hub that are worth um, thinking about. You know, uh, there are a few things that it's, I don't, you know, and it, just an example, one that I find I think everybody would like and should be uh, addressed is when you go to your start menu, you want to have the all apps list. Uh, the problem with the all apps list is that you can't tell, you know, Windows 11 to keep it like that. Because what happens is when you actually, you know, do something else, come back to your start menu, you're back at the apps icons and stuff, which is not something that should be. There should be a choice for you to have an app list. I think a lot of people would rather have an app list than have the icons going back in the start menu like that. So this is an example. So it all depends really on if you want to go to Windows 11 or not. And if you've resisted the, um, you know, the urge to go to Windows 11 from Windows 10 with the first version, if it was mostly because, you know, they're going to make it better in, the f in 22H2, there isn't that much difference. If it was for the fact of maybe saying, well, you know, I waited because I want them to, to fix all the bugs. Well, one of the things for sure is that all the bug fixing updates that happened through the last year have fixed tons and tons of things in Windows 11. So for that reason, you might, if it was bugs only, um, Windows 11 is rather pretty stable. And, and Windows 11 22H2, I've got absolutely no problem with and I think the majority of people don't have any problems with Windows 11. Uh, the problems are more in the usability, the cosmetics, the way that they, they change stuff around. Um, not in I have major issues. You know, the people that have major issues in Windows 11 are the average background noise that I call, which is always a certain percentage of people that have problems. And most of them are, you know, like I will always say, as a tech guy over 15 years plus, 99% um, of all the problems in Windows are not Windows related. They're PC related, user related, too many crapware installed because they think you need cleaners here and there and then they have problems, third party antivirus, and it's things like that. So that is one of the things here. The other thing that is to talk about is the compatibility issue. If you're um, unsupported, 
Will you be able to go to 22H2? I would guess it will work. Uh, my guess is that this unsupported loophole is going to continue working, is going to continue being uh, something that Microsoft will accept because of partly because of a lot of people ranting at the minimum requirements. So if you have installed on unsupported, I'm pretty sure 22H2 will show up to you also. If not, there will probably, well, there will still be the way to install it and by removing the, uh, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that they are going to accept and, and give you 22H2 even on unsupported hardware. If you enjoy my videos, and, and the last thing, like the install phase, um, I think Microsoft will still let you, you know, modify either the image or use the uh, ISO front that they actually have uh, available for installing on the uh, unsupported computers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.